Hey everybody, James Grandstaff here. All right, so what I'm going to do in this video is show you how to use the new ads manager to really dig deep into your campaigns, find out what's working, what's getting you sales so that you can optimize them. So basically when you create a new campaign, you'll know exactly what targeting you should do, what um, demographic, you'll know exactly what's working. So this right here is the new ads interface. Yours may look like this by now, or you may still have the old ads interface. Either way, eventually it's all going to look like this. And mine switched over a little while ago, and at first I was kind of irritated with it. I'm like, why does Facebook always have to go in there and make changes to this stuff? As soon as you get used to something and used to locating something in a certain area, then they go ahead and change things on us. And that's just the nature of the business, and we have to deal with it. But now that I've gotten used to it, I, I can say that I like it a lot better, and it's actually easier to figure out what's working. So by default here, if I come over here, I created last week, I showed you in a video, this retargeting campaign, and then this duplicate campaign. And if you'll notice right here where it says columns, by default, it just it sets to performance. And this really doesn't give you a ton of information, it gives you results, as far as conversions, reach cost per conversion. But if you're tracking leads and sales, everything gets kind of bunched up in here. So it's really not great data right off the bat but they do give us the power to pull this drop down menu and then they have this thing here called customize columns. So what I care about mainly is cost per lead and cost per checkout. So if you click customize columns, it'll bring up this area here and by default it lands on this performance tab. And that's usually the only one I worry about. So if I come in here, you'll notice, well, actually I'm going to jump over here. It'll show you all the ones that are being displayed right now. Well, I don't care about results. I don't really care about reach. I don't really care about delivery. I do care about amount spent and I care about ends. But I also care about cost per checkout. So if I scroll down here, and there's a lot of information here, so you really have to dig deep. Like we have checkouts custom audience pixel. I don't want that. I want checkouts conversion pixel. Then I want cost per checkout conversion pixel. And I want leads. So I want cost. Where are we at here? See, it even gets crazy here. I want leads conversion pixel. And then I want cost per lead conversion pixel. So really, I just have these, you know, one, two, three, four, five, six. Then you come down here and you have to select this little button here that says save as preset. And you can type a name for it. I'll just do like test. Then click apply. And now it shows you everything you have here. We're talking 35 checkouts, 263 leads, the cost per checkout $24, the cost per lead $3.27. But we can still dig a little deeper. But before we get into that, let me just show you here. When I pull the drop down now, I have this other category or other list in the list I have test, and then of JG conversion is the one that I created earlier. So after you do this step, then you come in here, you select your test, and you'll notice that you have 35 checkouts. Then they give us this little drop down here for breakdown. So if you wanted to find out, if I wanted to find out the age group of these 35 checkouts, all I do is tap age, and here's what's gonna happen. And this is awesome information. So checkouts here, so 17 for this campaign, for JG Duplicate, this campaign right here, 17 of these checkouts came from people who were 65 and older and the cost per checkout was $24. Down here we have 14 for 55 to 64 at $23.43. So that seems like the sweet spot here. Then you come down here and you go 45 to 54, there was only one checkout and it cost $82. So in this case, we would want to probably recreate, or the next time we recreate this campaign, we would pretty much only target 55 to 65 plus because that's where the bulk of the sales are coming from, and they're relatively low cost. Yeah, there was three of them here for 35 to 44, but just not as many. So we might keep that on as well, but then we got to get rid of this 50, uh, 45 to 54. So as far as age group, that tells us what's working. Then we can come down here and break it down. We could even do gender. How about age and gender? Okay, there we go. So these 17 checkouts that we saw earlier are female. Actually, these are all female because I just remembered we only target females in this for this product or for this campaign. 
But if it was a male female campaign, this would give us really good information that, oh, okay, only females are buying. Let's not. And, and my client had already done that. But in this case, hey, the males are not buying. So let's not put ads in front of guys. Simple as that. Uh, we can do this also lets us do like placement. So if I do placement here, it'll show us that all 35 sales came from newsfeed on desktop computers. If I do placement and device, it'll show us desktop. So this isn't, uh, this doesn't provide us with a ton of information, but if you were targeting all of the areas like desktop, right hand column, mobile, this would break down where your sales are coming from. And again, if all your sales are coming from mobile and you have a mobile optimized site, and then turn off the desktop ads because they're just not producing sales for you. So this is really a good way that you can go in and just break down and find out really what's working. So if you have no idea about a market and you want to just put an ad out there, you might do like the 18 to 65 years old, run some ads, get some sales, get some conversions in there, then come back and use this information to, to narrow it down and optimize your campaign. So this is a really great tool. Same thing with country, region, uh, product ID. I've never really messed with, but this gives you um, a lot of great information here so that you can optimize your campaigns. So try this if you haven't already done it. Um, it'll really save you some money in the long haul when you start to optimize. So that's it for this video, and we'll see you in the next one.